the one, Jesse Webb Traders Pro. Market conditions uh, remaining bullish in this bull market. Let's take a look at some of these shorter term momentum indicators. We're seeing momentum uh, really continuing nicely, starting to bump up into that upper extreme range now uh, and breadth still continuing to hold strong as well not uh, no increase it appears from the prior day and on also sentiment continuing to improve and at the really at the highest end of that range currently we are seeing buy sell ratio improving we saw a little pop a couple days ago pulled back on friday sitting right at uh, 1.4 nights we're still above one but nothing decidedly so we've just got just that slight bullish edge anything above one means that we have a bullish bias so we're at 1.49 that's continue uh, continuing to excuse me continuing to hold um, the sentiment line we've popped up yesterday or excuse me of uh, two days ago what would that have been thursday uh, popped up to that 83 range so still not quite popping up above that 85 range but getting close on sentiment so uh, we're certainly again we're certainly at the upper end of this range s p 500 making new highs a couple days ago and then uh, just having a little bit of a retracement here we'll see if we get any if this level holds this support area holds right around that uh, 520 range is that the right number let's see five yeah 520 on the highs right here for s p 500 pulling back now a couple of days into that so we've got really two or three different levels this 506 range to five you know five 08 range pretty solid support area right there and bouncing really off of this overall trend line if we were to connect all those points as well still not overall uptrend so really nothing nothing uh, showing downtrend weakness or any real cracks in that uptrend currently we've had a lot of pullbacks and retests of support area and those just continue to get bought into uh, let's take a look at S&P 500. Oh, we're looking at S&P 500. Let's look at bonds. Uh, we did see a little bit of a pop here on bonds on Friday, which we, uh, we've been talking about. We want to see those starting to hold, starting to bounce and move this direction. That means that interest rates are moving down. And so that's going to be one of the indications that we can watch to see if the market, the bond market, believes that the Fed is going to start lowering interest rates as well. So let's keep an eye on, a close eye on that support area for TLT. And uh, also, if we take a quick, uh, quick look at sectors, we really are seeing some strength, uh, nothing overly weak here, health healthcare and real estate. Uh, this real estate chart, see, we'll keep an eye on that, watch for that sup uh, uh, support area at 88 to hold up right here. And if interest rates continue to improve, we may see some support here on that uh, in that real estate sector. Other than that, really things are continuing to move higher as a group. A couple of uh, of, uh, of cracks there with uh, some of those trends, but uh, nothing overly significant as of yet. USO, let's take a look here. USO, watch for a bounce here, support at 75. USO is the ETF for uh, oil rally counter trend watching that support at 75 see if that uh, continues this overall trend and we bounce off that support and move higher with oil uh, and also gold uh, this pullback we've had a couple of days of pullback in gold here and watching for some support in gold muscle stocks group uh, not a whole lot in there today uh, TCRX top of the list right here really nice looking pattern breakout pattern solid confirmation bar big volume very interesting uh, pattern right there uh, also EU which is uh, in the base material mining space uh, really not a solid confirmation bar but continuing and starting to move in that overall uptrend SERA uh, like this pattern a little bit more than the last one right here where you have these long consolidation bases it holds up support inside that momentum zone still and then gives us a confirmation bar hard to tell on volume right here just because it was uh, it's kind of morphed by this massive day of volume that uh, the stock had a few months back uh, that uh, some, um, some stocks to consider for today keep an eye on the the market this week shorter week with easter coming up or good friday coming up on the uh, the end of this week and uh, should have, uh, and we'll see if we get some volatility, if we get some confirmation moving higher. Uh, if we've got any news coming up this week, it uh, should be a good week. That'll do it for today's update. Everyone have a fantastic day today.